Recently, I was reading the comments, and a guy asked me to make a top of the characters that earn the most money in the Baki series. Well, the truth is that I find it an interesting topic to discuss, so let's talk about it. Maybe many of us have never thought it was relevant to know what the fighters in the Baki series do for a living. But if you think about it carefully, it will make you curious. Let's start by making it clear that the fights in the underground arena are not paid, the fighters do not earn a penny in their fights. This has always seemed absurd to me since Tokugawa is a multi-millionaire. The fighters literally put their lives on the line every time they enter the underground arena. However, they don't seem to mind fighting for free either. On the other hand, if you make it out of the underground arena alive, fame and money await you elsewhere. It's very likely that these fights will be attended by a promoter who wants to acquire his services. But well, getting to the point of the video, here is the top 5 of the richest fighters in the Baki series. In this top, I will not include Tokugawa because he is not a fighter. What is for sure is that this guy is swimming in money. He has so much money that he even has a lab to clone people. Baki won't be on the list, either since he is not yet old enough to receive the inheritance left to him by his mother. So now let's go straight to the 5 richest fighters in the series. Kureha Shinogi is a well-known character from the Baki series. He is currently semi-retired from fighting, as he hasn't had a match in the underground arena in a while. This guy was a very mysterious character during his first appearances. It was even theorized that he might be on the level of Yujiro Hanma, the strongest creature on Earth. He is a medical professional and works in one of the most prestigious hospitals in Japan. It's very likely that this man has made a huge amount of money over the years, after all he is engaged in various branches of medicine. On several occasions we have seen him perform different types of operations, and he has even brought back to life people who were supposed to be dead. Undoubtedly, his career as a doctor has earned him a considerable amount of money. And in addition to his career as a fighter, we cannot rule out that he has another secret profession that generates more income for him. In fourth place is Dopo Orochi. The Karate Master is undoubtedly one of the most respected fighters in the Baki universe. This man is the most famous karate fighter in the world and the strongest to this day. He is the owner of the Shin Shinkai Dojo. This school is famous all over Japan. In fact, in one chapter of the series it is shown that a large part of the population has taken karate classes in this school. Teachers, doctors, cab drivers, and all kinds of people have been students of Dopo Orochi. We are talking about thousands of people who have attended different facilities of this famous karate school. But in addition to his income from his schools, Dopo also earns a lot of money thanks to his image as a public figure. It's very likely that this man has books about his life, documentaries, and who knows, maybe even appears in a video game. Dopo is a guy who commands respect with his mere presence, just like Yujiro Hama. The most iconic boxer of all time, Muhammad Ali. This man is an eminence, both in the Baki series and in real life. He is a special case, because to calculate his fortune we can take as a reference the real world. After all, he is practically the same as in real life. His boxing career would have earned Ali millions of dollars. Let's remember that boxing is one of the highest paid sports in the world. A single fight can generate up to $50 million for the most experienced fighters. And as we already know, Ali was one of the greatest exponents of the sport. Even now that he is retired from boxing, the man seems to live very comfortably in his mansion. This is because, although he is no longer an active boxer, his image as a public figure still generates a lot of money. It seems that sponsors and promoters are still seeking the veteran's services. In real life, Ali achieved an extraordinary net worth of $80 million. In second place, we have Yujiro Hanma. Perhaps many were thinking that the ogre might be the richest man in the Baki series, but the truth is that this is not the case. Yujiro is in this position because we don't really know how he makes a living. He has sometimes been seen eating in fancy restaurants and sleeping in the best hotels in Japan. The guy sometimes even wears fancy suits. He is not as disinterested as he seems. Yujiro is quite a celebrity. He travels with presidents hangs out with famous athletes. Even the Japanese army takes him for a ride whenever he wants. 
We could easily say that Yujiro doesn't need to work. In fact, he doesn't even need to carry money with him. If he wants something, he takes it. But upon further analysis, I have found something that Yujiro could have been working on all these years. I have come to the conclusion that the most suitable job for Yujiro is as a mercenary. We all know that the ogre is not someone who is willing to take orders. But despite this, it doesn't sound so far-fetched to think that sometimes he decides to do some work for influential people. It would also be easy to say that Yujiro kept all of his wife's money, but that would be going too far. Yujiro is a monster, but I don't see him as someone capable of that. He may be capable of other things, but not to the extent of leaving his own son without an inheritance. Obviously, I was being sarcastic. In the first place, we have our beloved Hanayama. He is the head of the Jakuza, the biggest criminal organization in Japan. He is also one of the strongest fighters in the Baki series. I think we all know how the Jakuza works. It is a criminal organization that is not only dedicated to distributing illegal substances throughout the Asian continent. In fact, this group has a presence in every corner of the planet and year after year, they move hundreds of millions of dollars with their different businesses. Among his many businesses are the distribution of illegal substances, extortion, human trafficking, and many other things you can't imagine. Hanayama, as the top boss of this organization, is undoubtedly the fighter with the most money in the Baki series. On one occasion he told Baki that he could get him all the women he wanted. He meant literally. You don't have to go very far to know what this organization does to get what they want. He is feared by both civilians and the country's authorities. In fact, when the going gets tough, the government has no choice but to call on the indestructible Hanayama for help. There are also other characters who have surely managed to earn a good amount of money thanks to their professions. For example, Shibu College surely receives a good salary thanks to his Aikido classes. Iron Michael is also another guy who, thanks to his boxing career, must have made a lot of money. Oleva Biscuit is a special case. He works as a mercenary for the United States government. When they want to hunt down a powerful criminal, they ask Mr. Unchained for help. He still lives in prison. He uses it as if it were his mansion or something like that, so we don't really know if he needs the money. After all, in prison he has everything he needs. Ali Jr. could also be on the list. Remember he was having a successful boxing career until he crossed Baki's path. And while we're on the subject of money, I've always been curious as to how Jack Hanma gets the money to buy his magic candy. Plus, you have to keep in mind that the surgeries he's constantly getting are not cheap at all. Most likely, he also works as a mercenary. You know this job is all the rage in the Baki series. I was hesitating whether to add Jun Guevara to this list. Recall that, unlike the real Che Guevara, he is not a dictator and does not take advantage of his country's resources. In the series, Guevara is shown as a nice guy, so it's hard to think that he would use his country's money for his own benefit. But well, this is just my opinion. Don't forget to leave yours in the comments box. You can also leave me suggestions for the next videos. And well friends, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. I hope you have a nice day or night. See you soon.